I'm Red Amaya. And I'm Stephanie Wong. Joining us now, Ray Wang, Security Product Manager for Google Cloud. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, it's great to be here. So security is such a vital part of everything we do online and in the cloud. Let's talk about security at scale. As our environments grow larger, security simply must keep up. How is network security changing as we move from brittle environments built on static IPs to microservices? Yeah, the traditional IP-based networking policies require to have very detailed knowledge on the nitty-gritty parts of your networking configurations. Uh, they don't really offer you a concept of uh, which service can talk to what unless you, know, you segregate them by IP addresses and subnets ahead of time. And this quickly becomes unwieldy right, as you scale your infrastructure, especially as you introduce the concept of microservices. And this is where um, a, a cloud-native platform like Istio or the managed version CSM give you a very different kind of experience. They allow the admins to define high-level policies that focus on uh, application requirements or business logic. Um, the microservices are backed by namespaces, which give you natural um, isolation boundaries. And each service is, is also given a unique Istio service identity. Then you can set policies leveraging uh, these identities and boundaries. Uh, for example, you can set it to be zero trust by default between the services so that any communication will require explicit policies and then uh, mutual TLS is enforced by default. And once you have configured your policies, um, CSM can allow you to centrally manage and monitor and control service-to-service -service traffic and alert on any policy violation. So this is how, you know, with a microservice-focused platform like CSM, it's much simpler to, to both create and do ongoing monitoring uh, of your network security policies. Okay. So how does moving into a hybrid cloud environment impact security? Yeah, so moving to hybrid environment, especially with a uh, product like Anthos, right, means no, you now have a consistent control plane between on-prem and cloud. It gives you um, a single admin experience and a single pane of glass, which makes it much simpler to have central visibility and control across your hybrid deployments. And then you can also start using some of the uh, Google security capabilities even for your on-prem workloads. For example, products like um, binary authorization or um, Anthos config management now work for on-prem as well. And of course, another benefit of, um, of using hybrid platform is that it helps your workloads to get cloud ready, right? Because containers um, are, are portable and the admin experience is the same. So when it comes to time to migrate, uh, it's a very straightforward process. And then of course, once your workloads migrate to cloud, uh, we can offer you additional security values, uh, things like uh, shielded VMs or zero downtime patching through live migration, even when there are uh, really big you know, hardware vulnerabilities like Spectre and Meltdown. You mentioned security consistency. Yeah. What are some of the best practices to ensure a security baseline with consistency and reproducibility for all of your resources in the cloud? Great question. Uh, we know that security is um, kind of a shared responsibility, right? We do our part and, and the customers do their parts. So in the platform, we offer um, a lot of security capabilities so that customers can start on a much higher baseline. But at the same time, we also make sure that, uh, we also want to make sure your, your part of responsibility becomes easy as well. And that's often done through, you know, templatized deployments, central config and policy management, and ongoing monitoring and learning. So then in terms of uh, deployments, by using Kubernetes-style API, you can um, express your configurations as declarative templates. Then Anthos Config Management um, gave you a central uh, source of truth for these templates and allow you to deploy the config and policy updates by GitOps and, and CICD best practice. These changes then get deployed to um, across all of your clusters and meshes in the environment to ensure consistency. And then when it comes to constraints, um, there are a couple of frameworks, um, Gatekeeper, uh, Policy Controller, and Forseti Config Validators that we're actually developing in the open source with, with communities. They allow admins to standardize configurations across your entire organization. You can, for example, uh, set guardrails by pre-submit checks in your release pipeline so that misconfiguration can't even get into the deployment process. And then uh, in case you know, um, drifts happen in production, you can also set alerts so they can get notified. Uh, for monitoring, we also have Cloud Asset Inventory and, and Cloud Security Command Center. Uh, they give you a central view of uh, the state of all of your resources in production, and then can notify you of changes and risks and security findings and so on. Uh, so together, these tools help you through the life cycle of uh, managing your security config um, settings. That's fantastic. Can you talk a little bit about declarative configs to make security controls consistent across sort of scale diverse environments? Yeah, so we all know one of the most uh, costly mistakes an admin can make is misconfiguration. Right, it's almost far too easy to accidentally set your IAM controls to be to be public, or you know, make your um, network configuration to be too, way too permissive. And when you do that, you open up your sensitive resource to, to attacks and data leaks. Um, 
So this is where um, uh, you know uh, declarative config makes a difference because it helps the admin to focus on the end goal, the end state, and then uh, allow you to offload the intermediate orchestration and workflows and keeping up consistencies really to the platform. Um, and then when we do that across um, a lot of resources, across many clusters and meshes, we basically achieve reproducibility and uh, recovery from drift, and, and therefore they reduce the complexity of um, applying security controls. And they also make it much easier to share uh, security best practices uh, because you can, you can deploy templatized solutions. And not only is it important to declare your security configs across your environments, but also monitor inevitable yep. risks. So we have a big launch, as you mentioned, Cloud Security Command Center. How do we help customers get visibility into risk in their environments? Yeah, we're very excited about Cloud Security Command Center uh, because it kind of unifies um, the security detections from Google, right, together with a lot of the key third-party detections, put them in a central place, and really help the admins to, to build them, analyze them, and take actions in place. Uh, for example, uh, one of the capabilities is uh, secu security health analytics, right? It, it scans and detects over 20 common vulnerabilities from publicly exposed storage buckets to, we talk about, you know, overly permissive firewall rules to misconfigured Kubernetes clusters and so on. Uh, and then similarly, um, you have uh, cloud anomaly detection. It automatically detects some of the key threats from, you know, crypto jacking to um, exposed service account credentials to outbound DDoS. And then uh, with this GA release, another benefit you get is now Cloud SCC unifies um, security findings from a variety of, of Google Cloud products, from event threat detection to binary authorization to Cloud Asset Inventory to AXT and, and so on. Um, uh, how you can use it? Well, if you're um, an enterprise company, right, and you have a finance department, for example, that stores credit card information and sensitive personal data, you can use uh, Cloud SCC to scan uh, the infrastructure used for storing the sensitive information, identifying the vulnerabilities, as well as finding active threats that are targeting these vulnerabilities. And then that's a lot of funding, so we give you a way to um, manage and organize these findings by attaching uh, business context to the findings and the resources by actual security marks. And then uh, we all know that getting the data is the first step, right? What you really want to do is to improve your security posture from the data. So uh, Cloud SCC also allows you to actually respond and take actions by, uh, for example, triggering alerts or creating IRM incidents or uh, directly executing remediation operations by cloud functions. Great. Thanks, Ray. Your insights into security will continue to be vital to any company that wants to build and grow quickly. Thank you.